let us configure notepad plus plus with git but before configuring notepad plus plus i would like to talk about the importance of configuring notepad plus plus with git Configuring Notepad++ is nothing but opening files with Notepad++. Okay, so for example, if you haven't configured Notepad++, what would be the case? I'm going to open Git Bash. Okay, now that the Git Bash has been opened, for example, if you would like to edit any kind of files, okay, I'm going to say ls. Okay, ls is going to list all the files which are in this directory. So I'm going to say ls. If you look at here, we do have a lot of files listed, right? Files and the directories. For example, if I want to edit this particular file. Okay, so basically if we forget about the git bash, we, we have a default editor called notepad++ or notepad where we do uh, all kind of modifications or the edits in a file. But in git bash, if you would like to do any kind of changes, there is a default editor called vi editor which will be shipped along with git so you should basically use that editor so to use vi editor you have to basically type vi followed by the file name which you want to edit so i'm going to say test me because i'm going to edit this file so you just have to say test me dot txt and give enter okay now this is the file which has this data i am testing file for example if you would like to edit any kind of data in this file first thing you need to do is you have to enter i when you enter i you will go into a mode called insert you will basically go to a mode called insert where you will give your data okay so you you can basically write i am going to update this file so this is what you will basically do and once you are done with your edits you have to press escape and then followed by shift colon and then wq here wq stands for write and then quit so whatever the changes you have done you are writing and then you are quitting out of the vi editor so this is what you have to do if you would like to edit any kind of files in git bash okay now if you look at this it's going to be really difficult to do any kind of modifications inside your vi editor right be right first you have to go to the insert mode and then you have to uh, uh, give on your edits and finally once you are done with that you have to enter shift call and wq so this is all a big procedure instead of doing this why can't you use notepad plus plus or notepad you can use any other editor instead of vi because it is going to ease our task okay so that's what we are going to do in this tutorial we are going to set up notepad plus plus so that instead of using vi editor we can use notepad plus plus to do any kind of modifications or the edits so for now i'm going to go back just so i'm going to press wq and i'm going to press enter so i am out of vi editor now okay i'm going to clear the console now clearing the console now we got to know the importance of configuring notepad plus plus with git but before configuring notepad plus plus with git the first thing that we should already have is a notepad plus plus installed on our local system so if you don't have notepad plus plus already installed on your local system you can go to https colon slash slash notepad plus plus dot org slash downloads there will be an option to download for 32 bit and then 64 bit you just have to select the dot exe installer and and then have to install it accordingly so once you have notepad plus plus installed on your local system it looks something like this i'm going to type notepad plus plus see this is called notepad plus plus icon so i'm going to open notepad plus plus since i have notepad plus plus already installed in my local system it is going to show up something like this okay so this is called a notepad plus plus so i have notepad plus plus already installed in my local system so i can able to see notepad plus plus okay so now the first thing we need to check is to type notepad plus plus here okay so so what should actually happen here is if you type notepad plus plus it has to automatically open the notepad plus plus that's what we are going to do now but anyway i'm going to check what is going to happen currently so i'm going to press enter if you look at here notepad plus plus command not found that means your git patch is not able to identify notepad plus plus which you have just installed it is because once you install notepad plus plus you should have to set path so how do we set notepad plus plus path in your local system at any time if you would like to set the path you have to open advanced system settings so i am going to open advanced system settings so i am going to this pc I'm giving a right click I'm going to the properties and then there is an option called advanced system settings 
and then you are under advanced tab i'm going to click on environmental variables so here if you look at we have user variables for user and then the system variables so we have to go to the system variables and there will be something called path okay i'm just selecting that i'm going to click on edit so once you click on edit here you will have an option called new okay you have to click on this new and here you have to enter the notepad plus plus path so what path do we need to add here okay i'm just clicking on outside okay so i'm going to see okay so which is basically the path where you have installed notepad plus plus since i have chosen notepad plus plus to get installed in c drive i just opened c drive and then i'm going to program files x86 which is nothing but 64 bit and then if you look at here in the down okay you have an op you have something called notepad plus plus okay i'm just clicking on that if you look at here you have notepad plus plus application file which is nothing but dot exe file if you go to the properties so this is called dot exe file so this is what we are looking at this is what we are actually looking at okay so i am going to give a click here and i'm going to copy this so this is what the path which we need to set under our environmental system variables okay i just copied it and i'm going back okay so this is what the place where we need to add it okay i'm just clicking on new again and i'm going to paste this and then i'm going to press ok and then ok and finally say ok here okay now you have set notepad plus plus path now i will open git bash now if i type notepad plus plus will it work yes it has to work but let's check notepad plus plus enter what happened again command not found so do you mean that the path which we have set was wrong no it's right but once you set path though, though it be a java path or it can be any kind of path you should always close your command line tool so i'm going to close this git bash command line tool and i'm going to open it again so i'm going to type git bash and i'm going to open it again now if you say notepad plus plus notepad plus plus give a enter see notepad plus plus was opened that means we have successfully configured notepad plus plus with git bash okay now if let me close this notepad plus plus and if you ever want to create some kind of file okay you just have to say notepad plus plus followed by the file name for example if you want to create a file with the name suresh txt you just have to give the file name and press enter once you press enter it is going to ask you suresh txt doesn't exist would you like to create it yes you just have to say s yes. since you said as it is going to create a file for you see it's as simple as that okay i am going to go back now okay so if you look at here it's not closed that it's because you have to close notepad plus plus once you are done with your task now you may ask me one question so every time whenever i want to open notepad plus plus i should always type notepad plus plus right it's going to be a long text you have to type notepad and then plus plus is a long task uh, it is going to waste your time so why can't we reduce notepad plus plus to some short name something like npp stands for notepad plus plus why can't we do it like this for example i'll just say npp instead of notepad plus plus i'll say npp and then i'll give my name for example some some file name okay i'll say suresh.txt let's check whether it is going to work it's not working because we didn't set up so there is a concept called alias so using which we can reduce or we can shorten the names okay let's check how to do that if you look at here we need to open a file called dot bash underscore profile so there is a file called dot bash underscore profile so if you don't have one um, already in your system it is going to create for you so don't worry about that but you should have to add the bottom line which is displaying in the second line under dot bash underscore profile file okay so and the text which you need to add is this alias followed by the name which you want to give in my case i want to give npp so i have just entered npp pp and then you have to enter this long text notepad plus plus dot exe followed by multi in session and then the no session okay let's do that so i'm going to open git bash so git bash is open i'm just clearing it once so that the output will be cleared okay it's cleared so the first thing that i have to do is notepad plus plus followed by 
dot bash underscore profile okay i am going to press enter okay so, so dot bash underscore profile is available so the next thing that you have to do is to enter this line okay just okay uh, we are under dot bash underscore profile just give one line space and then enter alias followed by npp and then is equal to here you have to type notepad plus plus dot exe okay i'm going to type notepad plus plus dot exe and then dash multi in session M U L T multi insertion and the use of multi insertion is whenever you open uh, any kind of file you want to do multiple insertions right if you want to do multiple insertions you have to provide this particular uh, statement no session no followed by session and the use of no session is that uh, whenever you work with multiple uh, sessions right it's going to give us some kind of issue so we have to add no session okay uh, if you are confused uh, with the multiple injection or the no injection just uh, just remove this multi injection and the no session and just add notepad plus plus dot exe and give it a try it is definitely going to give some kind of issues because i have tried already so it's better to add multi injection and no session okay so if you had already tried removing multi session and the no session please do comment out in the comment section about your experience so i'm going to press ctrl s which is basically to save and then i'm going to close this but before closing let me confirm it once again alias npp is equal to notepad plus plus dot exe and then multi session and then no session right that's fine so i'm going to close it so once you close it if you go back to your git bash it is going to be it is going to be displayed something like this now if you press npp it should open notepad plus plus for you now if you look at in the down there is notepad plus plus not opened okay so i'm going to type npp okay press enter hmm, what happened it's not working okay let me close my git bash okay i just close my git bash now i'm going to say git bash now let me type npp enter see notepad plus plus was opened okay i'm going to close this and and i'm going to say npp followed by some other name for example if you want to uh, type uh, testing my npp.txt okay just enter it is going to again ask you the same thing uh, if you say no it is not going to create okay and just uh, close it and you will come out of it so this is what actually happened so now we have set up notepad plus plus and then we have shortened the name notepad plus plus to npp now the main thing here is for example if you ever feel like the text which is displaying currently here uh, uh, if you look at here npp or else the text so whatever the text which is displaying under this git bash command line tool if you feel like it is very small you can go to the settings by giving a right click on the top and then say options and then go to text and select select okay so here you have an option to change the size and similarly you have option to change different fonts and the different font styles so so here you will have uh, 16 or 18 selected by default and you can change it to 20 22 24 whatever you would like to so i just selected 22 um, and then press apply and then press ok and finally say apply and then save it okay so it is going to change your text size uh, now we have set up notepad plus plus with git and then we have shortened notepad plus plus to npp and now since everything is working fine why can't we make this notepad plus plus to be default editor for all the new edits which we do so we are going to make notepad plus plus to be the default editor for all our new edits that we do okay so to do that let me just go back to my presentation so this is how we do the notepad plus plus to be the default editor so setting an editor to a default editor would be done using a global level variable so i am going to say git config followed by global and then core dot editor so i am going to open git bash and i am going to say git config which is basically the tool and then since we are working on the global variables i am going to say global followed by core dot editor and then we have to say notepad plus plus dot exe 
notepad plus plus dot exe followed by dash multi insert and then dash no session okay you should be very careful uh, when you give these kind of commands you have to cross check once or twice before pressing enter key so i am going to cross check one more time git config dash dash global core dot editor notepad plus plus dot exe multi insertion and then no insertion okay so everything is fine so i am going to press enter now we have set up the notepad plus plus to be the default editor okay now let's test it so to test it i am going to open dot git config file which is basically the file where we have our global variables right which i talked in our earlier tutorial so i am going to open that file but i am going to open that file using a tool called git config so i am going to say git config followed by dash dash followed by minus e so this will basically open up the file called dot git config where we do have all the global level variables and then the minus e here stands for editing so here if you don't set up notepad plus plus with git bash it is going to open up default vi editor but since we have set up notepad plus plus already it is going to open notepad plus plus for us okay i'm going to press enter okay if you look at here it has opened dot git config file in notepad plus plus okay if you look at here this is what we have set up so far so in our earlier tutorials we have set up these details which are basically the identification details and then today we have set up this core editor okay so i am going to close this okay so this is all about configuring notepad plus plus with git So if you're working on Mac, you can install TextMate. So for that, you can go to macromates.com and install TextMate. So once you install TextMate, you just have to go to a menu and then click on preferences. So once you click on preferences in the right side, you can find an icon uh, in black color, which is basically the terminal icon. You just have to click on that icon. And if you don't have mate already set up with Git, it, it is going to show up an install button. So you just have to install it. So once it installs, it is going to display an indicator in green color. Okay, so once you are done with that, just have to close your mate and then open Git bash and then just have to type mate. So if you type mate and it opens up text mate for you, then you are done. You have successfully set up text mate with your Git. And if you want to make text mate to be the default editor, then you just have to say git config followed by global and then core dot editor and followed by mate minus w. So it is going to set up text mate to be the default editor for you. Okay, I hope uh, you have successfully configured notepad plus plus with your uh, local git bash. So let's meet up in our next tutorial.